Well, hello and welcome back, and thanks for coming back downtown Keto Paphos on a truly, truly spectacular day. And we appear to have interrupted this little chappy's kip. He's having a little bit of a snooze. How are you doing, young man? There we are. He's had a busy, busy night in the Democritus restaurant. And on top of all of that, of course, I brought with me the dancing, the prancing, the most beautiful peacock in downtown Keto Paphos. And of course, her name is Miss Ochin. Recivia. Why am I a peacock? Well, all the colours, Recivia. Oh. Because it's summer, right? Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. You look absolutely spectacular. Truly, truly colourful. Can we have a twirl? Look at that. Wow. I would like you to come for a walk with us down to the downtown Ketopathos promenade area. And we're actually in the Dimakritos restaurant. And this is a traditional Greek restaurant at the very, very top of the little street that joins the promenade with the Bar Street area. And as you can see, it's got some rather nice features, some barrels that have been made into tables. There's a nice open bar over there. And of course, every single night of the week, they have traditional, how do you say it? Folkloric dancing show. It's the traditional folkloric dancing show because it's an old traditional uh, dancing show. Of Cypriot tradition, yeah. yes. So this is the Democritus Taverna. And it's one of the oldest restaurants in downtown Paphos. It was established in 1971. This over here is the stage area. And you never know, we might get the dancing, the prancing, and the professorizing Miss Ochin Grisivia Le Booth to do us a little bit of a jig. I can see that because of the wind, a little bit um, of some stuff from the table has fallen down. Here we go. Prepare for it. Here it comes. Ho! And there's nothing like a good ho in downtown Ketopathos on a spectacular day indeed. This is the Democritus restaurant and if you come here at night time from around about 5.30 it starts to boot into action and around about 7 o'clock well it's full. So if you want to get a table in this restaurant make sure that you do a booking or two. Come on, Christine Booth. let's get down to that Ketopathos promenade because that's what the people want to see. They want to see the beauty and the spectacality of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. That, by the way, if you fancy a bit of, well, Indian food, pop into Delegate, which is right across the road to the Democritus Taverna. Do you remember we was the only, the only fault in the Cyprus folkloric dancing restaurants or whatever, it's a chest. But then they put the cushions on the top of it, which is nice. It's not now, too bad, yes. Now the veranda is going to be more and more very, very comfortable. There we are. Stick with us. We're going to head down to the downtown Ketopathos promenade area. And you're going to get a spectacular view of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. On the way, we're going to mention some of the hot spots. This is the Flintstones bar on the right-hand side. That's the Mandra, another traditional Greek taverna, which is a very, very good little eatery indeed. And then on the left-hand side is the Dionysus Central Hotel. And they've opened a brand new grill and roast. And it's called the Roast and Grill Corner. And you can do takeaway as well. Look at that. That's a sign that's fallen down. We're having a little bit of windy, windy at the moment. That's their one of their advertising boards, isn't it? Let's see what it says. Let's have a look. There we go. See? Come home. Sorry, come hungry and then leave happy. There we are. And it is a great, great menu indeed. Look at that. Look at the way the sovlaki, that's the kebab, is presented on a nice skewer hanging. And of course, when you finish with it, well, you can go and find one of those two twins, those couple of pains, and uh, insert it in the right place. Why they are pains, Mr. Paul? Hello, What's Mr. Sir, and then? Mr. Payne. I hope you're all right. We're missing you already. Well, they all like a bit of banter and they like to give it, so we like to give it them back as well. Two superstars on the channel, Lord Jeremy and Lord Simon Payne, who are literally hanging on to their heads for their dear, dear life. Now, talking about superstars and new members to the channel, there is a Mr. Anthony, and he's got a beautiful, beautiful partner in crime. Her name is Miss Christina. And of course, they're coming to Paphos very, very soon indeed. And they are going to get married in downtown Paphos. And you never know, we might get an invite to that wedding because we do like a free meal or two. So, big, big shout out to you. And of course, you understand you are a super, superstar member on the little channel known as Marie Crumet. And that means, well, arise, Sir Anthony. 
and of course Lady Christina Recevic. Yeah, I would like to tell you many, many thanks for that, Mr. Anthony, uh, and of course Christina. Uh, that's because this is how you understand that you help the channel to grow up and we're getting bigger with our greatest family. Yes, indeed. If you want to help the channel and grow us up, as Marika says, click through to our About page or hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. And that's a platform where you can buy us a virtual coffee or two or three or 24 if you so choose. You can also choose to become a superstar member where you make well, a very, very modest contribution to the channel on a monthly basis, but of course that's what keeps us afloat, and that's what funds us to keep going up and down the downtown Kirapapos promenade and harbour area. So here we are, we're about to get down to the downtown Kirapapos promenade, and it's going to be a spectacular day indeed. And uh, whether you understand or not, I'm quite an old man, I'm 76 years of age, but luckily for me, I've got a much, much younger and a much, much more beautiful wife. And her name is Miss Archie and Christine Mr. Paul, stop lying to the people. You're a shitty, shitty boy. A what? <laughs> there we are. Delete that bit. We don't edit, by the way, if you understand. She confused her English that little cheeky, bit. Cheeky, sneaky. Cheeky, sneaky is what you meant to say. <laughs> a cheeky, I'm dying with laughter now. A cheeky, sneaky little monkey. Look at that. That is... The beautiful, beautiful blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. As it licks and laps the coastline of downtown Paphos, there's a bit of a wind blowing. And uh, believe it or not, this morning we did get the odd shower or two. Not that I'm trying to upset you. But of course, if your name is Miss Dawn, you've got a husband called Mr. Sean. You've got a little cat called Miss Daisy and a dog called Bobo. And you're curious to know what the temperature actually is. Well, believe it or not, it's 28 degrees today. And there's a bit of dust in the air as well which is making it feel that little bit more sticky indeed but that is a truly truly spectacular view indeed and that's what most people come to Paphos for to feast their eyes and to digest and to have a nice relaxing holiday in downtown Paphos. The weather today is a little bit strange I must say Mr Paul because in the morning like you said it was a few showers without soap but uh, then it was uh, showers with soap so, and we're getting battered by the wind. The camera's getting battered. With a shower gel, by the way, because it was so. And then that usually change to the sun. I think it's plenty of sun in the air at the moment, B, and because the wind it brings in and out, and but it's uh, without word for it. Very very hot. It is hot indeed. There's, there's a bit of a dust storm going on, if you understand me, if you look out. It is quite blue. It is getting blown away because there is quite a lot of wind around. And the temperature has ramped up. We're in the middle of May. And I'm pretty sure you can hear the wind and you can feel the wind as it batters against the camera. But this is the beautiful area known as downtown Kedipapos. And of course that is the most beautiful woman in the world in Sochi, with see the Alla Booth. And uh, she's doing a bit of juggling. Very talented girl indeed. Let's see if we can find her another lemon and then she'll make a fool of herself. You know, uh, lemon, as I said, I don't know if I said, but it's very, very healthy for you in the morning. Slice it with a cup of tea, warm, warm just water, and slice it in it. And then drink it. And then you'll feel how nice and energy you will feel. But well, it cleans all your tubes out and things, so they say, doesn't it? The citrus juice is supposed to wash you clean. Yeah, it has to be clean. And if you put it with the skin, it doesn't matter. It, it, uh, the whole vitamin is in the skin, by the way. There we are. The translation got quite confused as it went into that little brain. But of course, that little brain is a big brain because, believe it or not, she speaks seven languages. And English, believe it or not, is her worst, even though she can put you and me to shame, especially when it comes to the smell. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying in downtown Kedipapos. Oh, right, I need right. one of those glasses of Pepsi Max or perhaps, say, a Red Bull or something like that. If you die, who is going to be my producer? Who is going to be my Well, I'm sure there's a queue of people who would wait. Well... There we are. If I you don't. die, what would we do? I don't know. There will be a queue of women. Well, I'll replace wait. you with Dayman. There we oh, are. Oh, yeah. I'm happy about that. There we are. Dayman, our superstar. She could accompany me down the downtown Kedipapos promenade once or twice, I'm sure. So, downtown Kedipapos, 
on a spectacular day indeed. Let's take you into the municipality area where the people are sitting and digesting those views. There are people swimming in the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea, and it really, really is a spectacular day indeed, except for that little bit of blustering of wind in certain areas at the very, very start of the promenade. This is the Bania restaurant cafeteria on our right-hand side. Very, very popular indeed and it's open till late in the evening. And of course, it has a truly, truly spectacular view out across that blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. This area here now, as I said, is the area where people are able to transcend above the rocks because there are lots of little platforms, as you can see, and you can transform your little tootsies into that blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea and have a very, very good swim indeed and enjoy the living daylights out of the day. Downtown Kirapapos on a truly, truly spectacular day indeed. And summer is coming, that is for sure. Could be time for the big, big goodbye. Let's go and see what Miss Ochin Grisibi Labouf, the dancing, prancing peacock, has got to say. I don't think she can hear me because of the wind. My hands are a little bit dirty. I should go and make shower, I think. I would like to tell you many many thanks thank you for coming back again and again thank you for your kindness reviews thank you for your kindness heart thank you for your support to the channel we are loving you to be and kissing from the bottom of our one two three hearts there we are and camera there we are that's the beauty and the spectacularity of the blue blue mediterranean sea as it licks and laps the coastline in downtown Kedapafos. All that's missing is you, so get yourself on that big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy. Let's get one final kiss from the most beautiful woman in the world. Thanks for watching, and of course we will see you again very, very soon indeed.